It's streaming now. It's streaming now. I started it. Stream URL copy. Post. And then can you do the same one, like a comment or something? Or yeah, I maybe. can do a comment, but people might not see yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, do it in the new community post. I should probably, eh, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, Iapetus and Tavian are here. Hey, guys. <laughs> nice to see you can make it. Can you guys, uh, can you guys hear me? Just making sure. Can you guys hear me? Got one yes. Okay, you got two yeses. Um, Javian, you can join the you, you can join the YouTube members VC and like directly talk. Or Apetus, you could do that too. Why don't you have Discord? Is it like, can you just not, are you like not allowed to have it or? Ah, oh, man. There's only two people in right now, so I'm just gonna wait for more to come in. So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> That's good. Oh, we got three in here. Pretty all right. All right. Who's in here? Oh, that's it. That's what that is. So basically, this stream is going to be like... I'm going to be focusing on... Like, basically, a little FNF mod tutorial. I'm going to be fo focusing on, like, modding. But, like, if anyone else has any... Questions, then you're free to ask. So yeah, participants, oh. <laughs> oh, they're lit, they're gone. I want at least like a few more people to come in. <laughs> like Berserk said he was going to her chili or something. Uh, they'll, they'll still have access, so. It can just like rewind or something to see. So basically, there's like 
quite a bit of parts. Actually, not really. There's, I mean, if you want to just make like a bare bones FNF mod, then there's not that many parts. I mean, first you have to get Psych Engine, so that's what I have right here in this little folder, a clean file of Psych Engine. And first of all, you want to go in and we're going to go into the mods folder and then there's going to be this mod template.zip. You're going to want to ext extract that. Uh, right click on it and then extract all. Extract. And then you have this folder. And then you want to go into it and then you're going to want to go into this one. You're actually going to have to like select all these and then cut them go out like and then go like how do i describe this word you're gonna go on into the first folder not the second one and then you're gonna paste these there because if you leave them in this little my mod folder it's not gonna work so and then you can like delete that so and i mean basically have that set up right now so Let's name this just, let's just name this test mod, mode, mode, okay, test mod, there we go. Is anyone else in here? No, there's no one else. Is there an in lore reason as to why we don't see Haumea far out and far far out in antithesis? Um, uh, I mean, I would say Haumea didn't want for Orcus, I, I, I would say Haumea didn't want Orcus to be like a bad influence on her two little moons. But you could still see him, like, sneaking around to watch. But Far Out is, like, a little scared guy. So it's Far Far Out, I guess. Actually, I think Far Far Out is f female. Honestly, can't remember, but they're both... They just didn't want to be around Orcus. He's weird. So. Yeah. Okay. So. You can start with multiple things in a mod. Usually, I actually don't remember which one I would usually do, but I'm just going to start with making a character first. So, we're going to go into your animation program of choice. And this is just going to be a very simple character. And you should probably have your animation timeline out here. This little hamburger icon over here. Um, you can choose when to start and stop your animation. You can change the frame rate. Uh, let's just... Let's just make a little stick figure guy. So... I mean, if you don't already have, like, a keyframe in, you could just right-click the first little frame and then create duplicate frame. So that way you don't have to start over. Because if you make a blank frame, it's going to erase everything. And then this little light bulb over here, you can click that on the layers. And then that turns on onion skin, which can show you the like the, um, the before and after frames. Pretty sure that's what they're called. So when you're animating a character, you should do it in multiple different sections. I usually like to go in the order of the idle animation left down up right that's just how i how I'm, I'm used to do it but you can really do it in any way it doesn't really matter but so and then you can use like the transform tool you can like mess with them or you could just draw in frames you can create a duplicate frame and then press delete oh. right and left arrows on the keyboard can move the frames left and right I'm gonna make this more seeable. I'm gonna make him like. I'm gonna make him just, you know, do the little FNF bopping animation. can use uh, a transform tool to make them 
balance more. But like, just don't overdo it. I would say. Is anyone else here yet? No, there's still only two. Womp womp. Then if you have the base idle frame, you should probably like paste it. Um, oh my gosh. Whatever. Um, you should <laughs> you should paste that like after your animation, so you know, like you, so you have the onion skin like right here, you can, if you can see it, uh, so you know where to ease back into. So and then do a little in between. you can play it and then watch it you can select multiple frames and then that's where it's only gonna play but I'm gonna lower the FPS because it's a bit quick for me so I'm gonna do 16 so and then we have our little idle animation Yeah, Juno does have bouncy eyes because, like, I animated, like, almost, I animated all of the smaller asteroids, like, all of the asteroids in one day, apart from series. So, like, by the time I got to Juno, I was just kind of exhausted. So I was like, Ugh, and I just kind of bounced out her eyes, you know. Alright, so. And then I like to make separations between each of the separate animations so then you just delete that actually I like to paste the uh, the idle the first idle frame in each um, at the start of each animation so that way I know how much to move it I usually leave about a four frame gap in between so I can like just have decent range. You're gonna do that four times for the left, down, up, and right animations. So I'm gonna start with the left, and it should still show you the onion skins of the before and after. So we're just gonna come up with a pose. Got the guy doing a little Superman pose or something. And there's the left animation. Just gonna do the down. All the asteroids and moons appear through your assets instead of texture maps because, um, I like to make them actually look like it, like look like the asteroids, because if they use texture maps, then they would look pretty wonky. So I just use assets instead. Here's 
the up animation. Here's the right. The onion skin's gonna disappear, so like you're just gonna have to do some guessing. Unless you have another idle frame after it. The basic animations of a character. Idle left, down, up, and right. So and then you wanna go when you're when you're done, when you're happy with these animations, you wanna go to file and you wanna go down to render animation. And you wanna you're gonna wanna do it as export as image sequence, because then you'll get each of the individual frames. If you have separations between the frames, you wanna do only you you wanna tick this only unique frames box because it's only gonna render the frames that are changing and not like these empty ones that don't have anything in them. So let's just make a little folder. Um, we'll name him Jim. We're gonna select this folder and the base the base frame name is going to be Jim. And this is this just counts up from zero 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 zero. And it's just gonna name each frame. So then you're going to press OK. All the frames should be rendered. Oh, hey, Chili. Chili's here. Oh, Jack is here. Hey, Jack. So let's go to our little folder. Go to our gym folder and hit here's gym. We have all our Jack frame, our, our gym frames. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and you want to. If you don't have like Adobe Animate, like I don't have that, that would usually let you make sprite sheets, but I don't, so I use this sprite sheet and XML generator. What is that? Um, okay, so let's, I'm just gonna go to sprite sheet. Let's just, I'm gonna go here. Nope, nope, stop, stop, stop. No. Okay. I'm just gonna open this. It should be opening. Yeah, there we go. Where is everything? Yeah, whatever. There should be like a plus button right here, so. And then you want to go to your frames, the folder with all your frames in it. So we're going to go to the gym folder, select all the frames, and then open. Here's all our frames for gym. And then here's where you start clicking on each of the boxes for naming the different animations. So I'm going to click all of these set animation pose name and we're going to call it idle and then we press ok we're going to do this next set that's the left animation this next set is the down animation this next set is oops i accidentally <laughs> deleted a frame um on. let me delete these so that way i can put them back in so i'm not missing one here we go this set is the up animation and this set is right and then the character name, just put it whatever. I'm just going to call him Jim. We're going to generate XML. And you're going to want to, let me make this bigger. So you're going to want to go to your psych engine files. I'm going to go to mods, your mod file, and then images, and then go to characters. And then that's where you save your XML and sprite sheets. And it says your files have been generated, so let's go there. Let me go to the mod folders. And go to characters. And here they are. There's our gem sprite sheet and our gem XML. 
And while we're at, while we're in Krita, we might as well make an icon. So the base game icons are 300 by 150 pixels. So we're gonna make that. You don't have to do this part, but I like to make I like to separate the canvas into two different colors, so I know where each icon is gonna be, and then make that transparent. If you want winning icons, uh, you download some extra scripts because those aren't part of the base game. So let me just make some gym icons. So there we have our, our gym icons. You're gonna want to save those. Oh, there's the thumbnails. So. Let's go to our mod folders, not gym, our mod folder. You want to go to your mods and then images and then icons. You want to save it as a PNG and put icon dash before it so it knows it's an icon. We're going to call it gym. Bootleg PR. I mean, you can make a planet mod without making it look like PR, I would say. So, let's go make our character. You're gonna go to the application file. Wait for it to open up. You can skip all this, that is pretty loud, so. I need to make sure that's not like, overpowering. It kinda is, a little bit, so. Let me, uh, there we go. You're going to want to press 7 in the main menu. And then you want to go to, you, you want to go to character editor. Stop. Oh, Berserk. Hey, man. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing the stream. So, E, e and Q is to um, zoom in and out. I, J, K, and L is to move the camera around. You can do that. And then you want to load, press this big red button, load template. And this this just loads the template character. You want to go to the image file name, delete the, the boyfriend or whatever it has. And then you're going to want to put in the exact name of the Sprite Sheet XML unit. You, you called it. So there's Jim. Um, let's just flip this. This flip X button can just flip the character around. And you can use these knobs to move him around. And he's kind of like off the edge of the screen, so let's do something about that. With these buttons, you're kind of going to want to like click a lot, or you can just like type in the number, but I like to click. So we're going to just put him up there. You can also use a scale to make him bigger or smaller. And then this camera XY, this little cross right there, is the is where the camera is going to be. When you when you move the when you move this around, this is going to be where the camera is going to focus on. So let me just put that like right there. And then we're gonna. I mean, you can put you can put you can put in the icon right here. Uh, you can delete face. Don't type icon. Uh, type the name of your icon. Sheesh. Okay, Jim. What did I save the file as? Because it's not transparent, but... I mean, you get the point, so... And then you can press the get icon color. Um, and it's gonna get the icon color, or you can use these buttons down here to change the color of the health bar. We'll just make it blue, just because. And you're gonna go to the animations tab. You're gonna go down, select one of these, and then the idle. The animation symbol name slash tag. You're gonna wanna go to your um, your XML file. Uh, I recommend you don't mess with these, uh, especially if it's already generated for you. So you're gonna find what the animation is called before the numbers. So this is Jim space idle. So, 
gym idle. And you can change the frame rate. Mine was 16, so I'm going to do that. And then press add update. And Jim is doing his little idle animation. Go to sing left. And type in Jim left. Because that's how it is. On the, on the XML. Jim space left. Then he does that. Sing down. Jim down. Hold on. This is not... 16 so then sing up 16 FPS gym up and then sing right gym right add update and here we have all of the animations so now that's all you really need to do so you're gonna go back to the character tab, save character. Um, that's nothing. <laughs> it's for a friend. Uh, you wanna to go to your mod files. Let me make this bigger. Mods, your mod file. Then go to characters, and then save it with the name, Jim. So that's all you really need to do there. So then, um. Then you're going to have to um, make a song. So, I have FL Studio up and... Hold on. Um, let me just save this as Jim. Test. So, I mean, you don't really have to do much here. I'm just going to use these bass drum files. doesn't have to be much this is this is a test anyway so and we're going to choose a voice for Jim let's just use let's use nasal charge just because and I probably should have said what I was doing so <laughs> What I did with these drums is I opened the channel rack button right here, and then you can click these little buttons, and then they add little drum sounds. And then you can open the piano roll, the second button up here, and then... And you can change. You can go this magnet and change the grid snap. You can change the BPM up here. Like we can make it 140. just making Jim's little patterns and I'm just going to choose another instrument for the boyfriend you can you can put press this little plus icon and then do whatever synth you want let me just choose like uh, You can just pitch these up. There's a bunch of knobs that I'm not going to be able to explain in one video, in one little one hour stream. So then, usually FNF songs copy the opponent's notes and use them for the players. So you're going to select all of these, press Control C. Um, you can switch over to your other channel. And then you can just keep switching. Probably shouldn't make it that long, so let me just trim that off. Let me copy this. 
that's a bit loud, so let me open the channel rack again. This right knob is to change the volume, so. And then let me just copy this one more time. And here we have our little test song. You can press space to play it. And you can zoom in and out by holding control and then using the scroll wheel. So once you're once you're happy with your little song, um, you're gonna want to export the instrumental and vocal files separately. So enable or just disable your little vocal track, and then you're left with the instrumental. Save this. Go to your mods. That's PR. Let me go to the mods. And you want to go to the mods folder, and then go to songs. Um, let's make a new folder. Let's call this Jim go into that folder and you and if you're making the instrumental first you're going to call it INST and you're going to save it as an OGG file and then save that let that render and then enable your vocal track instead go to the mods psych engine mods test mod songs gym Save it as an OGG, and you're going to call the vocal files V O I C E S Voices with a capital V, and I N S Inst has a capital I as well. So, Voices, and there we have our song. So, let me go over to Psych Engine. Let me just full screen this. Why not? Well, let me check for questions. Probably should have been doing that. Does PR have any other exoplanets? I have made lots of other exoplanet designs, and obviously many other exoplanets still exist in the universe. How do you make F and F backgrounds and put them in the game? Okay, so that kind of requires more than like a bare bones mod, but like I'll go over that if I have time. Is that okay? I'm like 30 minutes in. Um, so, go to your main menu again, press 7, and go to the chart editor, and you're brought up with this. You're going to go to the song tab, get rid of test, and type in exactly what your song name is in the files. I, I called it Jim, and you're going to press reload audio. So it's in there. And then the song BPM, you're going to want to have your song BPM. In this case, it's 140. And you can adjust the scroll speed of the notes right here. Let me just do 2.5. And you can change the opponent to the character you made earlier. There's Jim. <laughs> There's Jim. So. Um, yeah. And then you can go to the section tab and switch. On the left side is what character the camera is going to focus on. If it's off, then it focuses on the opponent. If it's on, it focuses on the player. So we're going to switch that. And you use W and D to scroll up and down. Or you can use the scroll wheel. And you can hold shift to go even faster. Or you can press A and D to switch sections. Or hold shift and you can skip four sections at a time. So let's just start putting some down some notes. If you have the right vocals, you can go to the charting tab. And, oh my gosh, that's a lot of checkboxes. <laughs> um, you can turn on the waveform of the vocals. And this shows where the notes are, which makes it a lot easier to chart. So you can put in some notes. 
you can use E and Q to make them hold notes. E makes them longer, Q makes them shorter. And then you can just go through doing that. And then if you have the player copying the notes, um, you can chain, you can press copy last section, and that's going to copy the section before it. If you can, if you change this, then it's going to change the amount of sections back it copies from. Like for example, here, if I have plus two, then it's going to copy this section right here, and you can use this one to clear. So. I mean, you can also just press copy and then paste that there, but it's quicker to do copy last section. So let's switch the must hit section. And you're also gonna want to, um, you can switch the sections again. Um, charting mistakes is over charting. Um, I'm not calling out a specific person, but, uh, the, <laughs> whoopsies, uh, you know who you are, but over charting is basically like putting notes where there's not supposed to be like, this isn't necessarily over charting because these notes are on, they're on the beat, but what I'm talking about is like putting excess notes where there's not any like like there are not that many notes right there in that section except because there, there's double the amount of what they're supposed to be so make sure you know what you're charting um hold on copy last section and then switch the must hit section And also, oftentimes, I see, like, offbeat chartings, and that's either from, like, exporting the songs, like, with a slight, like, offset at the start, which I'm not sure how you managed to do that, but it happens. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, I don't know, like, just, like, people, like, doing this or something, like, like, it, it really bothers me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain how to fix that, but just like be on the beat. Like <laughs> if and you could just What if there's too many double, triple, or quadruple notes, then you're gonna have a hard time playing it, I guess. I mean and that's not really a problem unless you don't like playing those kinds of charts. So. Yeah, let me just finish up this charting. Copy last section. Oh, so this one has like, you need a copy back one. I mean, that's basically all there really is to do. And then you're going to want to press save and um, go to your mods folder, your test mod, and then go to data. Make a new folder with exactly the song name. So, Jim, go into it. And then this is where you have like difficulties. You can save it as, I mean, save it as like, Save the base name as the name of the song, and then you can do like dash easy if you want it to be like easy. You can leave it as it is, and it could be normal difficulty, or you could do dash hard, which obviously makes it hard. I'm just going to save it as normal difficulty. And then once you're done, oh wait, you can also press Z to zoom out and X to zoom in, so there's that. Um. You can press enter and then play your chart. Okay, that's uh, that's an issue. Hold on. Oh, I, I had it as a playable character. Uh, 
Um, if it has an opponent, don't press that. And then... Yeah. So. Oopsies. That was a little whoopsie-daisy on my part. So. Just move this camera over. Slowly. And let me save it again. Make sure you're in the right folder when you save these, because you might be saving over a song chart when you're trying to save a character. So... And then press escape. Three, two, one, go! And you can play your chart. After you press enter in the chart editor. You also can press escape to, to play the song at a specific point. Like I can skip and then play this section if I want. Oh, wrong tab. Uh, planet texture maps. Um, I have those in my Discord server, but you said you can't join that, so I'm actually gonna be, I'll eventually post those on my website, so. So, and then, there, I mean, there's the song, so, and then, um, and then, to make it actually, like, where you can actually select it, um, we'll press 7 again, and then go to the week editor, and this is where you can make a week that's gonna show up. So, songs, so only song is Jim, and then the characters in this, you can just change which ones, I don't, this is ba it basically just acts the same as making a normal character, except it's in a different folder, so. I don't have a gym animation, so I'm just gonna put three tiny nerds in there. And then the background asset. Um, the... The picture just stays where it is. Um, to get like the background asset like um, aspect ratio, I'm gonna go to the assets folder instead. Um, I think it's shared, and then weeks. No it images. Uh, that might show a bad word. So let me. Let me just zoom that in real quick. And then the menu backgrounds is where you can have it. So let me just copy that, open a new create a file, paste that in, and then you can go to image and then trim the current layer. And then uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I mean, if you want, you could just copy the colors from the thing, and then, like, just kind of, you know, and then just draw it in. <laughs> and then, say, you can save that, go to your mods folder, test mod, images, and then menu backgrounds save that you could just save that as anything I'm pretty sure no you have to save it as menu underscore so I mean I'm just gonna do that just to be safe so let me save that as menu underscore gem and background asset you can type it in Jim there's there's Jim let me get these guys out of the way so you can see it there's Jim and then the display name is what's up here in the top right. So, Jim goes crazy. You could type that in. Weak name for the reset score menu. I'm not really sure what that does, but I just put in the name. So, Jim. And then the weak file. Um, the weak files are these. So, you could just kind of copy one and make sure you don't make it like too big 
or else like it's gonna take up the entire menu screen. So like you could just use one as a reference and then you can also make it transparent with this little opacity slider. Just gonna write out gem and then crop it image and then trim to current layer and then save that go back to images story menu and just type in the name Jim and the weak file box Jim <laughs> there it is and hide weak from story mode that's basically just making it like free play only and you can go here into the other tab you can make it where it starts locked and you have to beat a previous one and you can make it hidden until it's unlocked and then you type in the name that you you have to type in the name of the week that you have to beat to unlock the song but we're not going to do that so the difficulties you can type in as many as you want but like i'm just going to do normal just because i don't feel like charting extra songs and then you can go to free play and you can change selected icon box to gym <laughs> I don't know why it's saved like that, but you can make you can hide the week from free play instead and make a story mode only. And then you can change the color of the background with these little knobs right there. And if you have multiple songs, you can like copy this color and then like go in between them. If you have multiple songs, it's W and S to go up or like up and down, I think. It's the same as the regular menu. And then press this save week button. Go to your mod and then go to weeks and then just save it as anything i'm just gonna save it as gym so and then go back out escape to exit you can go to free play and there's there's the gym song and you can play it and then like oh, i need to see how much time is left on the stream 47 oh man um uh, i'm not sure I need to check for questions. Are there are there other characters like Planet Nine? I'm assuming you're talking about like hypotheticals, because there are Planet Ten and Taiki, but like there are other members of the Spy Network that Planet Nine is a part of that you'll probably see. This is the best FNF song of ever. I know, right? So... I can try doing a stage. I mean, what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see next? Because I have a decent amount of time left. Who else is in the spy network? Uh, you'll see. How dialogue, or or stage? Which one got? Which one you guys want to do? Dialogue or stage? Okay, dialogues then. Okay, so dialogues. Make a new file, and then dialogue poses. This is where you're gonna animate the little dialogue portrait that's going to appear in the dialogue menu so I mean you can animate it if you want so like let me just make him squish like he's talking like separate it like turn on onion skins or something and you can make like a different frame I'm just gonna make like a few we're gonna make a sad gym and usually you're only gonna see like 
usually I would say only show like the like the torso up of a character. And then let's just make one more. And he's flailing his arms in rage. So here we have our four dialogue emotions. We have happy, blank, sad, and angry. So we're gonna do the same, the same thing that we did with the um, with the character. We're gonna render animation. Um, you can make a separate folder if you want. It doesn't really matter. Jim dialogue. I'm just gonna type in Jim D for short. And then you can do only unique frames if you want. And then export. And here's our dialogue frames. Um, let's go to the sprite sheet generator. Um, just clear all these out. There's like a red minus button right there, but it's not showing for some reason. So let's add our Jim frames. Or gym dialogue frames. <laughs> you can say that as gym dialogue, and then here it's basically like doing the poses, except it's just like emotions or something. So this one's gonna be happy. This one is going to be like what or something. This one's gonna be sad, and this one's gonna be mad. And then generate XML. Um, go to your mods, test mod, and then go to images and dialogue. That's where it's going to save your files. So let me go to mods, test mod, images, dialogue, and uh, this is where they are saved. And then you can see the dialogue as well in the XML. So, let's go over. Actually, you can also make like a dialogue sound. Like custom dialogue sounds. So let's just do that. You can use the same instrument. I recommend making it really short unless it, and and then it, or it's going to do some weird, so let's just do that. You're going to want to go to your mods again. Go to. Okay, this is probably like the new version, but like there should be like a sounds folder. Uh, so let's just. Um, let's see if this works. Sounds. And save it as an OGG. Save it as Jim Dialogue. Hold on, I gotta use like the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm back, y'all. Okay. <laughs> so, we have our dialogue sound saved. Let's see if there's any. Were Salacia and Actia suggested characters? They were. But, like, they weren't. I mean, they were. I saw people saying it, I was like, might as well, so. yeah I'm back so let's go to come on let's go to I don't know why I was doing that let's go to psych engine 
So, go to the main menu again, press 7, and go to the dialogue portrait editor. And this is where you're going to put in your file names, Jim Dialogue, Reload Image, and if you used a big canvas like me, it's going to be off the edge of the screen, so... Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's slowly coming over. Come on, man, hurry up. It doesn't necessarily like that when you... What in the world? Okay, hold on. This is going to take a bit. <laughs> so. <laughs> the sunrise. It's Jim. Uh, you can change where the little speech bubble comes from. Like left, center, or right. In this case, it's going to be left. So we're going to move him back. <laughs> oh, back in my day. Uh, we walk both ways up the street, up the hill, in the wa in the water, in the rain. Okay, he's at a manageable size now. And we're just going to put him here. We're going to go to the animations tab. I don't know why there's offsets, but just like put them there. Use the arrow keys to put them back. Um, we're just gonna remove all of these because we don't need them. Let's make a new. Let's make a new um, animation name. We're gonna call this Happy, and we're gonna go to the XML, and this is where you're gonna do it. So the loop name is going to be. Jim dialog space happy. It's before the numbers. And the the finish name is going to be the individual frame. So it's gonna be like in, in my case where he's like at rest is the first frame. So it's gonna be Jim dialog space happy zero 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 zero. And then add update. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not sure why it's not doing that, but okay. Let's move on to the next animation, which I called what? You can basically just switch out the names of these frames from happy to what. And then he does that. <laughs> and then the next animation we have sad so let's replace what with sad add update now he's sad womp womp so and then the last one is ma not man it's mad so <laughs> man and then add update Grr, he's so mad! Grr. And then that's basically it. And then you're gonna save character. Go to... Test mod. And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's in characters, so... Save it in characters. And then press escape to go out. And then the dialogue editor. This is where you're going to do all your dialogue magic. So to start off, let's replace the boyfriend with Jim. Jim. Dial. Dial go. Dialogue. Okay, I think I saved it in the wrong spot. 
Um, it shouldn't be the right spot. It shouldn't be the wrong spot. Let me cut this and put you in dialogue. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's um, it's in the images and then dialogue. So there's your answer too. And you can use W and S to scroll through the animation, through the the emotions. And the sound file name is your little dialogue sign you made earlier. Oh, okay, I don't... Null object reference. Okay, I didn't like that. So... Um... This is new. Sounds. It should. Oh wait, I think I did the wrong sound. I think I called it. I think I called it Jim Dialogue. Yeah, I called it Jim Dialogue. Silly me. So let me just let me open it back up. Let me go back to the dialogue editor. Let me do it right this time. Yeah! Now he's making little sounds. And then the text. And then you can just type in whatever you want. And you can adjust the speed that this, the text comes out. The, the higher the number, the more space in between the letters. You can make it really quick. And you can also tick this box and make the box shake, so... Um, you press P to add another dialogue frame. It's working. Did you use, I'm not an old man. I was. <laughs> is, is the spy network in just the PR universe? I mean. I guess. <laughs> but I would. Eh. No. Yeah, no, it's not. Exceeding an hour, did, did you? What, whatever, Chili. I'm. <laughs> I'm making the dialogue. <laughs> I mean, you can have as many dialogue sounds as you want. You could just put another one there. But if you don't have it, it's just going to be the base game one. And I'm just going to go through and demonstrate each one. making a little discourse between these two. Oh, there's no spaces. And then A and D to go through each dialogue message. can save the dialogue uh, go to your data folder save that 
with your chart. And then there's a script to play the dialogue. I'd have to get it from the PR files. So let me just do that real quick. Let's just go to Caledum. Actually, no, I should probably go to part one instead. Actually, no, let's do part three. Just cuz. Kata. Um, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let me just paste this script. Um, let me go to the mods. That's the dialogue. It's okay if we exceed a little bit over an hour. And then, this is what the script looks like. And you can also make um, some mini dialogue music that would go right here, I think. Yeah, that, this is um, the background music for the dialogue, but I don't have any, so... Actually, actually you know what, let's just make it. Just Let's just put the drum beat on loop and you could just save that like you do a song except um, you put it into your sounds folder OGG let's just save that as Jim BG and then it should just loop so oh yeah right here Jim BG and then save that and then let's go to psych engine and it should play the dialogue let's go to story mode okay if you if you don't like touch any like if you don't switch the pose around um, for one of them, then it's gonna choose one at random. Okay, the, the background music didn't work. Not sure why. Wait. supposed to go oh it's supposed to go in music oh so let me do that real quick wait sounds let me cut this and then put that into the music folder there we go let me play that again Actually, wait, no, that was... I need to just... Yeah, there we go, there's the music. fix that dialogue script up real quick you can just open up the raw dialogue JSON file and happy so okay that didn't work oh cuz I forgot to save it bro There we go. And I'm pretty sure we're past an hour now, so. 
Yeah. We are. Berserk, that's a bit much. <laughs> um, are there space birds in Pluto's reprisal? Uh. I don't, I wouldn't think so. Also, hey, Jax. I think he's actually gone now. But. Oh, hey, Jax again. I mean, so. That's. I mean, that's basically. That's basically it. Stages are a bit more advanced. Which is why I chose dialogue instead, so. I mean, yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, I could, I mean, I'm gonna end the, I'm gonna end the stream, but, like, I could still help you one-on-one -on -one with, like, whatever you need, like, with stages or something. So. Or, like, music or, like, FL Studio or any other little thing. Or, like, if you're gonna ask me for coding, don't do that. Ask Battery. But, you know. Thanks, guys. And thank you guys so much for... Thank, thanks for coming. And, like... And, and for, like, support... Thank you so much for, like, supporting the channel. And my content. But... Yeah, you guys are... You guys are awesome. Bye. Bye.